Hello friends, welcome to Global Online. I am Vishakha and today we are going to learn MCQ's video of the first unit of economic syllabus that is microeconomics and this is how we will clear out concepts of microeconomics. We are taking this MCQ series to prepare for the upcoming NTA NET exam 2022. So let's start with the session. Before starting our today's session, I have an important announcement for the students who are preparing for NTNet 2022, Paper Sec and Economics. We are offering the full syllabus course for the Economics Paper 2. Uh, in that course, we have included mock test, full syllabus notes, video lectures, practice MCQs and PYQs. As we know the importance of PYQs, we have included in that course with PDF with solution. Okay. Uh, you have to download an app with this official logo to join our course or else you can contact on this given number on WhatsApp. Okay, fees is just 4999 but you will get plus paper 1 all the study material in that price. Okay, so uh, hurry up and join our course so uh, preparation will be start to clear upcoming exam okay here is a simple app display so you can join easily this is our first page first display of app then you will get this window uh, you have to just search for the app with this official logo on the play store you will get this window and search for the store on this window and you will get the list of the courses we are offering you have to just select your course if you want to take um, example or test or practice, you can get in that course, particular course. Just select your category and uh, start your preparation. This is our first question. Let's uh, read the first question. Marginal utility that is MU curve is always how rising, falling, parallel to the x axis or parallel to the y axis. Simant upyogita work hamesha hota hai. कैसा होता है उभरता हुआ गिर रहा है x एक्सिस से समांतर और y x के समांतर सो व्हाट इज आवर आंसर वी हैव टू रिमेंबर हाउ इज मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी कर्व ओके दिस इज आवर मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी कर्व एज वी लर्न बिफोर ओके सो हाउ इज लुकिंग इट इट इज लुकिंग लाइक फॉलिंग सो व्हाट विल बी आवर आंसर ऑप्शन बी ओके okay? हिंदी में गिर रहा है गिरता हुआ ओके फॉलिंग मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी इन इकोनॉमिक्स द एडिशनल सेटिस्फेक्शन और बेनिफिट दैट अ कंज्यूमर डिराइव्स फ्रॉम बाइंग एन एडिशनल यूनिट ऑफ द कमोडिटी और सर्विस व्हाट इज मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी इज द एडिशनल सेटिस्फेक्शन ओके एडिशनल सेटिस्फेक्शन और बेनिफिट ऑफ व्हाट ऑफ एडिशनल यूनिट ओके हियर दे हैव uh, explain us what is marginal utility here question number second utility may be defined as we have to tell here or select the option which is telling us which is showing us the definition of utility or the meaning of the utility okay options are the power of commodity to satisfy wants the usefulness of commodity the level of satisfaction given by the commodity the desire for the Commodity. The only desire for the commodity is utility. No, the option D is not correct answer. The level of satisfaction given by the commodity. No, utility means not a satisfaction. Only satisfaction, level of satisfaction. Uh, the usefulness of commodity. Of course, it is a usefulness of commodity, but this is not an answer. We are getting more clear definition about the utility that is the power of community to satisfy wants. So our correct option is option A. Okay. Uh, utility is term in economics that refers to what the total satisfaction received from consuming a good or services, anything, any good or any services which gives the total satisfaction from that commodity is called the utility of that commodity. Okay. Economic theory is based on rational choice usually assume that consumers will strive to maximize their utility. Everyone wants to maximize the utility of that commodity. 
okay uh, on that basis we uh, get the idea about the utility what is exactly utility let's move to the next question this is our third question what is the question app ordinal approaches based on as we know there is a two approaches in utility counting um, one is cardinal and second one is ordinal approach so question is which approach is based on ordinal approach options are law of maximum satisfaction b utility cannot be measured in cardinal numbers utility utility could be measured in ordinal numbers utility can be measured the utility can be measured this is a not correct option because they have asked cardinal approach based on uh, so we have to choose a correct answer and the correct option is option b because uh, cardinal numbers cannot be measured this is the base of that approach what uh, which approach ordinal approach cardinal utility is utility where the satisfaction derived by the consuming a product can be expressed in numerically in cardinal utility you can express your satisfaction in numerically okay but in ordinal utility what ordinal utility says that satisfaction derived by consuming a product cannot be expressed in numerically or uh, expressed in numerically these two approaches are totally different uh, totally uh, what we can say opposite to each other okay let's move to the next question adam smith that is father of modern economy spoke about the famous diamond water paradox to show that uh before going to answer that question we have to know that what is diamond water paradox okay there is a let's start with the that uh, paradox to know uh, there is a plenty of water in most part of the world not scarce uh, which means that as consumer we usually have a low marginal utility for water in typical situation we aren't willing to pay a lot of money for the one more drink of water because water is available free to everyone uh, on the other hand diamonds however are scarce because they are uh, harder to find and attain our marginal utility for adding a diamond to our collection is much higher than our someone offering one more drink of water just because water is free water is free hmm? but other hand diamond is more expensive okay so the uh, marginal utility of diamond is more higher than water sorry hmm? um, if one is dying of thirst uh, then this paradox might make sense the marginal utility from another drink of water would be much higher than additional satisfaction of owning a diamond let's look at few examples okay uh, this is example how water here is a one glass of water and here is a diamond okay i don't know the shape uh, i uh, means i know the shape but i can't draw it here okay what is marginal utility because diamond is find harder to find or expensive hence its marginal utility is higher than water because water is higher uh, sorry free to everyone so its marginal utility is lower than the diamond okay but in on uh, some situation where someone is dying and their uh, marginal utility of water is more than the diamond here we can see the difference or the uh, paradox of that Uh, diamond water paradox this is actually the diamond water paradox okay so let's see the options Ut utility is related to the supply utility could be the cause of value utility is related to the price utility could not be the cause of value uh, now we know the diamond water paradox the answer is option c utility is related to price okay the paradox of value describes the vast difference seen in the prices of certain essential goods and non essential goods many goods and services that are essential to the human life have much lower price in the market economy than other goods and services that are not so essential okay let's move to the next question a typical demand curve cannot be 
when we are uh, going to solve the question on demand curve always remember this is the demand curve this is how the demand curve okay now we can answer any question on the that demand curve okay um, uh, what is question a typical demand curve this is a typical demand curve cannot be okay uh, there here are given some options which is not correct option is our correct answer okay options are a straight line parallel to the y axis uh, we can see here in a demand curve uh, is there any parallel line to y axis no so this can be our answer because because they have asked us what cannot be okay next option is a straight line parallel to the x axis can we see here a parallel line to x axis no so this is this could be our answer uh, next rising upward to the right uh, here we can see that uh, demand curve is falling from the left so this could be also our answer so both uh, all three options are correct regarding that question so our option d is a correct answer option d is a correct answer all of the above options cannot be uh, true about the typical demand curve okay this is a demand curve typical demand curve looks okay on the uh, y axis they have mentioned price on x axis they have mentioned the quantity uh, with quantity and uh, uh, price here is demand curve is form let's see the next question a fall in a price of commodity leads to what uh, options are given but before going to uh, answer this question we have to remember that law of demand law of demand uh, which is based on price and uh, quantity when uh, price rises demand decreases when uh, price is falling demand is rising this is the situation of law of demand okay uh, the question is the fall in the price of commodity leads to what uh, means this situation demand is always rising when price is fallen so a fall in demand a shift in the demand a rise in consumers real income a fall in consumer real income uh, when the price of the commodity is decreasing uh, for example uh, one cup of tea is 10 rupees okay when prices uh, price is falling it will be cut to 8 rupees okay 2 rupees of that commodity consumer is saving means what the situation that a rise in uh, in consumers real income because 10 rupees uh, firstly they are giving and then 8 rupees they are giving for the same tea and 2 rupees they are saving means the real income is rising by 2 rupees means here our question correct answer questions correct answer is option c rise in consumers real income is the correct answer real income what is real income real income is an economic measure that provides an estimation of individuals actual purchasing power in the market after accounting for the inflation okay this is the definition for real income okay it subtract an economic inflation rate per dollar from the individual's income typically resulting in a lower value and decrease spending power okay next question seventh number total utility of commodity measured by which price of that commodity uh, we know the two types of utility that is marginal utility and second one is total utility okay and this is our question based on total utility of that commodity options are value in use both a and b value in exchange sorry and both a and b and none of the above what will be the correct answer for this this is a very simple question total utility of commodity measured by which price hmm? the price value in use okay correct option is option a value in use next question eighth number question given goods are those goods do you know what is given goods given goods are low price products the demand for that rises along with the price 
okay these products are necessary to fulfill the need for food and they have only few substitutes bread wheat and rice are example of given goods the thought of given goods undermines the fundamental law of give uh, law uh, fundamental law of demand okay uh, that are low income and non luxury products and the question uh, now we have to uh, if you know the meaning of given goods now you can answer this question options are which are very uh, which are in very short supply uh, for which demand increases as price increase which have a high income and elasticity of demand high is a not word of for the given goods none of the above so uh, we have to choose the correct answer from these two options uh, for which demand increases as price increase correct option is option b uh, because we know that the given goods are with those would whose uh, price increase and demands also increase when price decrease demands also decrease a given good is a low income we already seen that okay this is the only written one and i have told you that orally okay ninth question elasticity of demand demand is equal to the unity uh, while marginal revenue is options are positive zero indetermined negative okay mang ki loj ekta ke barabar hai jabki simant rajaswa hai kaisa hai options are positive zero indeterminate and negative correct answer is option b zero when the elasticity uh, elasticity of demand is zero then the demand is equal to the unity this is only condition an elastic demand is a one in which the change in the quantity demanded due to the change in price is large okay when uh, elastic demand in order to words quantity changes slower than the price if the number is equal to one elasticity of demand is unitary in other words quantity changes at the same rate as price how the elasticity calculates on the basis of price and the change of the demand okay uh, the next question 10th number question if the demand curve is rectangular hyperbola elasticity is options are a 1 b 0 c infinite d less than 1 these are the some conditions um, when rectangular hyperbola elasticity shown is option a okay correct option is 1 let's explain in next slide this is our uh, demand curve in a rectangular hyperbola why it called rectangular hyperbola when prices uh, on the basis of prices quantity demanded okay when price was p the quantity demanded q means this is a rectangular hyperbola when the price fallen and demanded that much quantity of the commodity again here rectangular hyperbola bola form okay at that condition ed is equal to 1 because the change in price and the change in a uh, demanded commodity is uh, equal to the 1 hence this is the rectangular hyperbola demand curve we explain okay okay thank you for the today's session we have discussed 10 questions and 10 terms or the concept we have learned in today's session we will continue next session with that unit okay thank you for the today's session